Got another package, about to open it up. What up, what up, what up? It's, today is the next day. Um, yesterday I had work until like 1.30. Then went to the gym to bang out. Like 45 minutes of cardio with Zoe. And then I came home and then I was deep working, you know? Got in my zone, did a couple of things. And yeah, I basically just bought a couple of things from MyProtein. They had a sale on their website as well and I was like, yep, your boy's on top of that. So let me show you what I got. Number one, whey protein. I got, this one's called high protein, low sugar, gluten free, hazelnut. Why not? Boom. I put that up in here. Yeah, yeah, more protein the better. Because right now we on that, we on that, we on that carb cycle. So my protein intake still needs to be high. Got a couple of tops. At least I think a lot of green stuff. So yeah, I think I'm about to move it over. Let me move the camera over a little bit so you guys can see. Actually, wait. I actually don't have time. I've only got like 20 minutes to get to work. So. Yeah, how many tops I get? One, two, three. Okay, a lot of these are like hoodies and stuff, so. Let's stuff up before I have to go. I actually haven't weighed myself this morning. I weighed myself yesterday, but I weighed myself this morning. Why? Because you couldn't be bothered, and it is what it is. Number one, we've got a all black hoodie which is something I actually don't own. Now I thought about it, I don't own an all black hoodie, but we got one, as you can see, very subtle. You can hardly see the My Protein logo. You see it, but it's just raised on top. Boom, hardly see that, which I like. Um, the reason why I got a lot of hoodies and stuff is because everything literally is on sale right now. And of course, the hair the mark gets cold real quick compared to most countries. So I thought, let me make the most of it now. I love wearing hoodies in the gym. I love busting a sweat about another one, but this is in green. As you can see again, raised. I guess I have to wash these cold so nothing happens to them. But another hoodie. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Nice. And finally, what else did I get? Another hoodie, I think. <laughs> but it's also green. I love green. Green's my favorite color, if you guys don't know already. But green is the thing. And we've got another. Oh, this one's a cut off. As you can see, cut off. But it's exactly the same one as this. So it's the same one as the green one. But it's just a cut off version, so yeah, I can wear this during the summer or whatnot. But yeah, nice, simple, and that's it. Just got three products and uh, protein. That's what I got. So let me go hang these and pack my bag. Today is actually my final day at McDonald's. Um, so yeah, I'm bought some stuff, some cakes and stuff for my work colleagues. You know, it's been an amazing four years. But now it's time for me to take it to that next level and go follow my dreams, man. You know, I've been working towards this for the last, well, since, I've, since forever, since I was a kid. You know, being an artist has always been like my full time. My, my, my main goal has always been like, that's what I want to do for the rest of my life. I don't want nothing to get in the way of it. You know, I'm a graphic designer as well. So design is technically, it is art. Everything is art, you know, everything's creation. So um, I'm just happy that. Now I've got the opportunity to do this full time. I have to make the most of it and literally conquer. It's because I've got so many ideas, so many things I want to do. But at the end of the day, an idea is just an idea until it's executed or put into action. So, yeah, that's what we've got to do. Um, I will see you guys after work. work from two till nine um, took the cake and everything for my work colleagues and yeah they were happy about that scary to think that literally that was my last shift it wasn't scary as well it's like a nervous but happy feeling that you know this is a this is a new chapter for me 26 self-employed was a it was been a dream of mine you know what I mean I'm um, working for myself taking on clients and yeah Start something new. I'm excited for this. I'm really, really excited for this. I'm gonna go sleep early today so I can just literally start tomorrow, wake up, and then go for it. Um, 
did a gym session. I came home. Actually, I didn't come upstairs. I was just downstairs waiting for Zoe. And then we headed to the gym to bag out a shoulders and arms workout, which was really good. I wore the Gymshark hoodie um, with the cut off sleeves, the blue one. Really nice. Got a couple pictures um, as well for the grow. And yeah, I just felt comfortable. I just felt good in the gym today. Again, I did have I had some of the cake at work. Like I tell you guys, everything in moderation. You know what I mean. Even though I'm cutting, I ain't cutting for a show. You know, in the words of Chris Jones, I'm trying to get whole ready. You know what I mean. So that's pretty much it. I ain't competing like Christian Guzman and was like Brandon Harden. You know, they went deep. You know, they were going on some next level type of stuff. You know, but. Again, I cut because I was going to see how much muscle I've put on and how far I can actually push a diet. So this is why I am saying this now. Next four weeks after today, the next four weeks, I'm um, four to five weeks. I'm going to London the 17th and today is like the 14th. Today's the 14th. So we have yeah, basically four weeks a month um, to really tighten up the screws right now i'm around 91 point certain kg um, of course after the day the cake and everything only did 30 minutes of cardio i'm expecting to go back up a little bit although i did drink quite a bit of water today uh, either way i'm expecting to go up tomorrow so if i don't i'll be very thankful <laughs> if i do it's just it is what it is um now that i'm self-employed and everything i don't have to think about okay i gotta go work today and everything i literally have to work from home now so I, I can have a routine you know which is very important in anything having a routine a, a solid routine where you like i wake up 10 o'clock every day without fail go for an hour walk by the time i come back it's 11 o'clock or say 11 30 you know whatever yeah um make my look fast and then brand was going to go into my office edit my videos up until like one two break my fast go here work out come back back to work you know now it's drawing time draw for like six seven hours until it's like eight nine in the evening you know take like a hour break to read or something you know listen to an audiobook even though when i'm drawing that's what i normally do i listen to audiobooks or maybe go for another walk you know 80 in the 80 mark you know whether it's 89.9 it's i still reach the 80 you know i mean um I don't know why it's a goal of mine, but I feel like I can, I can push it. It'll be, it'll be rough in four weeks to get that. Cardio's going to have to bump up to like an hour. Right now, I'm at like 30 to 45 minutes. Um, I, don't, I don't think I've gone past 45 minutes once. My, I've done like different sessions, like a workout. I turned it 20 minutes in the morning. Okay, I've gone past an hour. Because the other day, I did 40 minutes in the morning and I did 30 minutes after my workout in the evening. So, yeah. Um, probably why I hit that 91.8 burn more calories I was in a deficit crazy but anyways I'm in the kitchen right now making some food real quick and then I'm gonna relax with Zoe for a while um, so yeah and I was in my last day at McDonald's I went a bit crazy with the food you know what I mean yeah you know, I'm, I'm a fairly disciplined person but I was just like it's my last shift let me just munch out <laughs> so that's what I did I munched out you know Say what you want. Okay. I did it because I did it. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to munch out, so I munched out. And then tomorrow, back to work. Actually, you know, I kind of, literally an hour later, I was like, okay, back to work now. Um, so that's the, that's the key there. You just got to move on and just accept that you did it. It's just part of life. You know what I mean? If you're planning to do this for the long run, the days like this will happen when you're just like, you know, forget whatever this thing is called. I'm going to eat what I want to eat. You know what I'm saying? Time is currently nine o'clock. I'm about to head to the gym with Zoe to hit a leg workout. I woke up around 7.30 this morning, like you said, like I just said, it's nine in the afternoon. And I woke up at 7.30 this morning. But look at my eyes, you can tell I took a nap. So, woke up seven. What did I do? I did a ton of editing. Then when I did the washing, um, reordered my wardrobe, um, put my tutorial video together I made my do's and don'ts videos for Instagram um, now I only got two main tasks left the gym I don't really cast as a task it's like a, it's like a must do um, but I gotta start a drawing tonight which I'll probably carry on to like 3 4 in the morning because don't see myself going to sleep anywhere anytime soon because I took a nap from like 3 
prefer ish to then it wasn't a nap it turned from a nap into sleep so i slept for another five hours so sleep but woke up like an hour ago um um yeah so i'm gonna draw till like three four in the morning um, edit a couple of photos and that will be it for today but yeah now we're gonna go to the gym smash this leg workout i'll take you guys with me so yeah let's go to the gym this exercise we're gonna do is deadlifts we're gonna start with deadlifts we're gonna go heavy as fuck heavy as fuck I'm joking now i'm gonna go about 160 180 160 maybe 180 maybe i'll go to 200 who knows? Depends how I feel. It's kind of stuffy in here, you know, pretty damp. And someone forgot my inhaler. Took out my inhaler out of my gym bag. So yeah, that's the situation, ladies and gents. But deadlifts it is, and then we're gonna go into some isolation work, lunges, and yeah, stiff legged like deadlifts. Them things there. But yeah, deadlifts first. Got a chalk on deck, you know. Got to have that chalk. Makes that big difference, you know. Them extra reps there. Yeah, let's get started, I'm excited. Only leg day, only leg day that can do this to me. And it's hot in this gym, it's roasting. But leg day, leg day gets me sweaty buckets. That's why leg day needs to be my high carb days. I think that's smart, making my leg days my high carb days the rest of the week. Low carb, that's what we're gonna do. Because if you did low carb at leg day, of course you're gonna ultimately end up burning more calories during the day. But nah, high carb days. Leg needs these stiff carbs. But anyways, now we're doing stiff day deadlifts as you saw. We did uh, deadlifts first. I think I did like nine, ten sets. Crazy. Um, now we're doing stiff leg deadlifts. This is my first set. I'm going up to um, 100 kilos. Gonna probably keep it at that and wrap out. Yeah. Woo. Let's go. So it's Sunday and not really much is happening today, aside from woke up, did my drawing, actually finished it, boom, PK, go do the background and pretty much yeah, went to the gym to do a couple of do's and don'ts videos with Zoe and now I'm about to try this caramel cashew, I love cashew, not extremely big fan of caramel but cashew, 
lot of shit, I cash you not, so hey, I'm also making spank bowl in the kitchen, which we're going to chow down on today, that's today's meal, uh, what else have I done, today is pretty much, I literally just woke up and boom, went at PK, you know, and just went at it, for like, four or five hours, just, just went at it, <laughs> and I like the way it turned out, um, that was my main task for today, you know, Sunday, rest day, I'm probably going to go for a walk later on in the evening, get my steps up, right now I'm around 5,000, I want to reach at least 10 daily um but yeah let's try this out see what he's saying i tried the cocoa one once i was going to the gym so it's supposed to go coconut cocoa or something like that um from barbells so i bought four different flavors i tried the peanut one the other day it wasn't that great it's, it's edible but it was just like uh, you know actually zoe tried it she was like Ugh. she literally took it out of her mouth and <laughs> gave it back to me <laughs> she was like nope i don't want it um, so I tried to cook one and I fell in love with that. I was like, that's really good. Now this one. Hopefully it doesn't disappoint. I hope it doesn't. Let's let's do a product test. Okay, not bad. I will say the one thing I do like about their bars is that it's very soft. Like, it's very easy to eat. You know, it's not extremely chewy, you know. Soft. Can't really taste the cashew. Maybe it was just the first bite. It tastes a bit of caramel, mainly chocolate, but it's a protein bar. 20 grams of protein, whatever in it. It doesn't taste bad, so can't really complain. It doesn't taste bad. It doesn't taste amazing. It just tastes like a just standard protein bar without, you know, it's not it's not dry or anything. But you know, it's not it's not that like kick like the coconut one. Like I was at and I was like, yo, maybe it's because I hadn't had sugar in a while and I was hungry as well going to the gym. It might be that, but I don't know where it was. I like coconut in it, and there's quite a lot of people that don't like coconut. So that that one touched me. That was really good. But we still have one more. We've got the hazelnut and nutmeg. Hazelnut and what? Nutmeg? We've got the hazelnut one, which I'm I'm looking forward to. That should be good. Um, but that's the last one. So we've got this one and then the hazelnut one. I'm going to try down on this. Get back to this drawing. Start another drawing that I've got to do. And basically just chill, man. It's Sunday, you know. Just trying to get as much work as I can done today, you know. This was my ultimate goal today. Get this drawing done, which I have and it's only seven o'clock in the afternoon. So might do some light reading and yeah, maybe start a course or something. You know, we're trying to look to learn, trying to evolve, you know. Knowledge can only take you so far. Knowledge without actually action, it's just knowledge. So you got to put it into action. So I'm trying to learn and actually put it out there and yeah, use it. So yeah, Sunday chilling. Definitely gonna get a haircut tomorrow. Definitely. Has to be done.